66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do Yeah No, nothing's complicated with you Hey, play Hello, songs on the radio Hello, thank you, and welcome It's Kathleen from Paz Creations Welcome to the No Bra Zone number four, guys Happy to see you here today we are working on a 10 by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas bought on sale at uh, Michael's last week, 70% off. I jump on that. Do you hear my creaky stool? stool? <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> it's a leather stool and I don't know why it's creaking. Um, anyways, 10 by 20 gallery wrap canvas bought on the um, yearly or I think they have a twice a year sale at Michael's. And I've been experimenting with a lot of different base coats because the Artist Loft soft body acrylic, since they changed it from the flow, just doesn't work for me anymore. And so far, um, major thumbs up for creative inspirations. Um, acrylic color. I've used it in the Payne's gray, the black, the white, and I believe the raw sienna. And so far, it rocks my world. Although I need to add quite a bit of water to it to get it the consistency that I'm used to, but it holds strong and everything is dried absolutely beautiful. Today, our base coat color is Lucas Krill Studio Acrylics, and that's their oxide iron black. I've used these paints before. I love their paints gray. It's absolutely beautiful. And that's what our base coat color is right here. And just like the Creative Inspirations paint, had to add a lot of water to it. But creamy, smooth, um, good paint. Good paint thus far, guys. That is our base coat color. And we're going to be doing an open cup pour today, and we are getting our golds on. <laughs> What's prettier than black and gold with maybe a little bit of pearl? Right here in this cup, we have deco art metallics. Love my deco art people. Love my deco art paint. And this is their vintage brass in their metallics right here. Make sure I got that right. Yep, that's right. That's DecoArt Americana, everybody's favorite in the 24 karat gold. Right here, golden fluids in the iridescent gold. And in this cup right here, we have Vallejo Pearl Medium. For funsies, see what it does. Golds and whites play generally very, very well together. All of these paints, including our base coat color are mixed with uh, one part paint, one part flow chalk, one part Liquitex pouring medium, and a healthy squirt, which is about a half a part of Golden GAC 800. Now the um, the uh, base coat color is got a good amount of water, probably 20%. These all just got a little squirt of water with the exception of the golden fluid, which is already fluid and did not need any water. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare a cup because I forgot to cut the bottom off of one of them. And oh, there's that creaky stool. Now I find that these cups that I use, these are hot cold cups, I get them from Amazon. It has a really nice lip on it. I cut this section off right here set the lip down in the paint and the lip actually holds in my paints until you know i'm kind of ready to uh, release it and let them go so i plan on leaving a good amount of negative space because i am a negative space kind of girl and if for any reason that doesn't work out you can always go back in once your painting is dry and uh add your negative uh, space back in. I always save a little bit of each of my colors and I put them next to my painting as it's drying. And then after it dries, if um, a goober got in there or a bug flew in there or something moved that I didn't like, I can just take a brush and the paints that were in the original pour and generally do a fix it. So that's it. 
I'm going to put some music on. I'm going to pet my dog because he's rubbing up against my leg. He had a hard day today. He had to go to the vet, uh, Dr. Doug, who is also our neighbor. And uh, he hates Dr. Doug. <laughs> he hates Dr. Doug. And uh, the other day, Dr. Doug dropped off a prescription for us and rang the doorbell and Lito went running because uh, Lito loves it when friends come to visit. And I opened the door and he's smiling at this man standing there who was Dr. Doug. And as soon as Dr. Doug opened his mouth, he looked at Lito and said, yes, Lito, I know where you live. <laughs> and Lito literally hauled butt as fast as he could, ran into the master bedroom and hid underneath the bed. <laughs> He was horrified that Dr. Doug knew where he lived. But Dr. Doug's a good guy. It's just he pokes at my dog every time we take him in there. Enough about Dr. Doug. Let's put some tunes on, guys. Let's get busy. I'm driving, you're smiling. It's always 
Highway Route 66 and we keep on driving We just do what we wanna do, yeah No, nothing's complicated with you Just do what we wanna do. 